All right. I'd like to return to gravity and work on a three-dimensional situation we have here. Let this be x, this be y, and this be z. And there is here, this is the increasing value of y, and there's here point A in three dimensions, like this, and there is here point B. So you get a rough idea about the th three dimensions. And y of B minus y of A equals h. That's a given. So there's a high difference between A and between B. There's a gravitational force. The object moves from A to B. Suppose it moves in some crazy way. Of course, gravity alone could not do that. There has to be another force if it goes in a strange way. But I'm only calculating now the work that's going to be done by gravity. The other forces I ignore for now. I only want to know the work that gravity is doing. The object has a mass m. And so there is a force mg. And I can write down the force in vector notation. It's in this direction. So now... I notice that there is only a value for f of y, but there is no value for f of x, and there is no value for f x. They are zero. And so f of y equals minus mg. And so if I calculate now the work in going from a to b, which is the integral in going from a to b of f dot dr, then the only term that I have is the one that deals with the y direction. The other terms have nothing in it. So it is the integral in going from a to b of fy dy. And that equals minus mg, because we have the minus mg, times y of b minus y of h, so that is minus mg times h. And what you see here, that it is completely independent of the path that I have chosen. It doesn't matter how I move. The only thing that matters is the difference in height between point A and point B. H could be larger than zero if B is above A. It could be smaller than zero if B is below A. It could be equal to zero if B has the same height as A. Whenever the work that is done by a force is independent of its path, is only determined by the starting point and the end point, that force is called a conservative force. It's a very important concept in physics. I will repeat it. Whenever the work that is done by a force in going from one point to another is independent of the path, it's only determined by the starting point and the end point, we call that a conservative force. Gravity is a conservative force. It's very clear. Suppose that I do the work, that I go from A to B in some very strange way, then it is very clear that the work that I would have done would be plus mgh, because my force, of course, is exactly in the opposite direction as gravity. So whenever gravity is doing positive work, I would be doing negative work if I hold it in my hands. When I'm doing positive work, gravity is doing negative work. 